Hey guys, it's Becca and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is my 21 things that I learned in 21 years. As you might know, I did this last year. That video will be linked down below, but obviously it was 20 things I learned in 20 years because I wasn't 21. That's self-explanatory. I'm tired. All right. A lot of you, when I asked for questions about my 21 years, said like, oh, just give us advice. So that's what we're gonna do. I got cupping done today, guys. Wait, let me show you. The vlog of that will be going up, up out soon if it's not already out. Let me show it to you. Oh my God, can you see that? Ah, let's jump right in. First thing to know, this one was just something that popped in my head. Um, if you think people are judging you, you're wrong. But like, think about it. How many people are you actually looking at when you're like walking somewhere? Like, yeah, probably a couple, but you're not like concerned about like, oh, a pimple on their face, or oh, like their unbutton, their top button is unbuttoned. Like, no one cares. Next, don't complain about getting old because life is so exciting. That one I wrote because like he sees so many people, so many people being like adulting's so hard, and it's like, okay, yeah, adulting's hard, but like think about it, it's something new. Like high school was hard, you made it through. College was hard, you made it through. It's just a different version of that. Like this time you get paid, and maybe it's like the same thing, but if you're not happy with what you're doing, change it up. The best things happen when you least expect them. That one I feel like is kind of self-explanatory. Like everyone I feel like knows that. That's something that I've really started to live by. Like everything happens for a reason. If you don't get something, it's because something else is gonna happen. It might take a while till you get there, but. It's important to like stay with that. Four, alcohol is fun, but it can be fun without a hangover. And you can also have fun without it. Yes, I know I technically shouldn't be like, I drank before I was 21, but you guys know I lived in Ireland and Spain and like the drinking age was 18. So I've had alcohol before and it's not my favorite thing in the world. Is it fun? Yes. Are hangovers fun? Not at all. Do I get a hangover from one cup of wine? Yes. So like, I've learned that you can have such a good time without alcohol and you can also have just as good of time drinking less and not feeling like shit the next day. Number five, anxiety is all in your head and you're not actually in any real danger. Number six, you can love your body but still want to improve it. That one's, again, self-explanatory. I love how I look, but do I want to improve myself? Yes. Will I be happy if I don't improve myself? Yes. But do I like working out? Yes. That one's kind of a self-explanatory one. Seven. It's not hard to eat healthy, but it's also okay to indulge. I indulge all the time, like, and as long as you're like happy with that and you have a good relationship with food, you're fine. Number eight, social media is meant for you and there are ways to use it healthily. I posted something on my story about this, like, don't feel guilty when you unfollow people. That's nothing that you should feel guilty about. If you don't like their stuff, don't follow them. It's nothing personal. And don't worry about getting likes, just post what you want to post, so. Number nine. You don't need to have everything figured out, especially at 20 years old. Everyone's like, what are you gonna do after a senior year? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm 20. I've got time to figure that out, you know? Number 10, life's too short to put up with bullshit. That one's simple. Number 11, there's more to life than college. Just like there's more to life than high school, just like there's more to life than your first job. There's more to life. So stop indulging in the fact, or stop living in the fact that you're so sad college is over, where everyone's sad. But like, there's so much more to come, and if you keep thinking that that was the peak of your life, nothing good is gonna happen to you. That's a little harsh, but you know what I mean. 12, you should post that bikini pic. <laughs> we know me, I'm an avid fan of the bikini pic, as we can see here. So, I always tell myself, you should post that, regardless of what you think you look like in it, because odds are no one cares what you look like. They're just happy that you're happy. Number 13, cut out toxic people. At this point, honestly, 21, you're too old to be dealing with bullshit. Like I said, don't deal with bullshit. But you're too old to be dealing with people who bring bullshit into your life, so just cut them out. 14, wear sunscreen. 15, be yourself. It's one of the worst things is meeting someone who's like 22, 21, 22, and who's like not confident in themselves. Like, you need to be yourself and be authentically yourself and be happy with who you are. Otherwise, you're gonna put off like a fake vibe and you're just not gonna vibe with people, you know what I mean? Number 16, you'll never regret traveling anywhere. There were so many trips abroad that I was like anxious on or like nervous to take and I don't regret doing them. Like, I learned so much about myself and even though like maybe some of them weren't the best trips, I learned so much about myself and I got to see a different place. So you'll never regret going anywhere, traveling anywhere, seeing somewhere new. Oh, this one's kind of like with the abroad thing. Just like, don't be a dumb American when you go abroad. Like, learn about the place that you're gonna learn about. Learn about the place you're gonna go before you go. So that you don't look like a dumb American and people are like pointing you out and gonna pit pocket you. Number 18, keep in touch with friends. The best thing I've done is kept in touch with my high school friends because when I come home, it's like nothing ever changed. Like, it's like we're still in high school, but we all have just happened to like grow up. So. Keep in touch with friends, especially if you're moving away from college and your friends are staying in the same college town. Keep in touch with those friends because connections are good everywhere and friends are like family, so. 19, speaking of family, I love mine. That's that one. 20, if you want to be taken seriously, 
act like it. And finally, 21. Just go with the flow. No one actually knows how to do life well. Everyone's kind of faking it till you make it, so just do that too and I'm sure you'll be fine. Those are my 21 things. Sorry they were rushed. My Chipotle is here. I love you guys and I will see you guys next Saturday. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below. Also follow me on my um, intern's social media. I will be running a or posting on, a on those accounts, so I will link those down below too. Um, I'm an intern at Dr. Steven Diane's office in Chicago. So if you guys want to see anything about my internship, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, I love you guys, and I will see you guys next Saturday. See ya!